Hi, hi, greetings. Welcome to all the busy being better queens and kings. How is everybody doing on this marvelous, wonderful, beautiful day? Spring has arrived, guys. Are we excited? Yes, we are. My name is Jay and the name of my channel is Busy Being Better. Any newcomers, welcome, welcome aboard. My topic for today is make room for quiet. One of my favorite topics. And I think so often we don't realize the importance of quiet time and how it enhances our life in every direction every sense of the word. And whether you pray, meditate, listen to nature, or even just be, allow yourself to hear what's in your heart. And you do that by being quiet. Connecting with what is inside better prepares us to deal with the exterior world with calmness and peace. And you have to give up control and release yourself to thoughts and emotions that can heal, strengthen, and even surprise you. Quietness is healing. It can heal the mind. And strengthen us. Got to take time and go into that quiet corner, that quiet closet or whatever you call it. Because your inner voice often has something to say, wants to tell you, wants to talk to you. But it cannot do it if you got the noise going all the time. Got to cut the noise out. And you can best recognize that gut feeling, it'll let you know. That gut feeling that can act as a reliable compass once you turn off all the noisy, messy, distracting sounds of life. I describe it as being plugged into the positivity around me. Plug in. Plug into your quiet time. Plug into it every day. I'm not all calmness and peace all the time because I have a pretty full life and sometimes it can be chaotic. Some things can just get all over the place just coming at you from all directions. But with a few mindful adjustments, I have found a season of contentment. And for that, my thankfulness abounds. Because I know how to go into my quiet closet. And I got it designated specially just for that. Find a place in your room. It can just be a corner in a room. But find somewhere you can sit and go within. We listen too much to the telephone. And we listen too little to nature. The wind is one of my most favorite sounds. It is somewhat of a lonely sound, but so soothing. Sometimes lonely and quiet and soothing is all connected. You know, the bitter, the sweet, sweet and sour. <laughs> Everybody should have a personal sound to listen for. Sound that will make you feel exhilarated and alive or quiet and calm. Find your sound. If you don't have it already, find a sound that makes you feel exhilarated, quiet, and calm. As a matter of fact, one of the greatest sounds of all to me 
is a sound that utters complete silence. Nothing, just quiet. Like it is right here, right now. Just quiet. Some people don't like quiet. They say it scares them. I don't understand how quiet can scare someone. I don't understand it. But I've had people say they can't even sleep if it's quiet. They got to have noise going all the time. I'm just the opposite. I hear any little thing. I'm distracted. And only in quiet waters do things mirror themselves undistorted. And only in a quiet mind is the adequate perception of the world coming through for you. And in quiet moments when you think about it, you recognize what is critically important in life and what isn't. It clarifies things. Quietness will clarify. You got to make a decision. Get quiet. Go somewhere and get quiet. It will clarify things for you. And be wise and don't let good things crowd out those that are essential. It's the difference between essential and good. And the best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely, or unhappy is to go outside somewhere where they're where they can be quiet alone with the heavens, the nature, and God. Oh, I'm so excited here right now because I do it all the time. Go outside where, they, where you can be quiet alone with the heavens, nature, and God. It's, it's exhilarating. It's healing. It's everything. And only then does one feel that all is as it should be. Have you ever heard the wonderful silence? just before the dawn or the quiet and calm just as a storm ends or perhaps you know the silence when you haven't the answer to a question you've been asked or the hush of a country road at night or the expectant pause of a room full of people when someone is just about to speak and most beautiful of all, the moment after the door closes and you're alone in the whole house. This is my topic, you guys. I love it. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. Each one of us is different, you know. And all very beautiful. Each one is different. Sounds, people, different. Just listen carefully at each sound. And I'm telling you, sometimes when I'm real quiet and if I am looking at people, I can see the quietness in them if they're quiet, if they're that tight. I can see it and sometimes feel it. The energy, it comes out. But at night, when the objective world has slurped or slumped, 
back into its carvings and left dreamers to their own. There come inspiration and capabilities and possibilities at any less magical and quiet hour. Serious quiet hour. If we will be quiet and, and ready enough, we shall find compensation in every disappointment. Yes. If we will be quiet and ready enough, we shall find compensation in every disappointment. So I say here to those who love the quiet but thrives in the chaos. And that takes talent and knowledge. To love the quiet, but we still thrive in the chaos. That's meditation. When you have, when you have home, that quietness within, you can be in a room full of people carrying on, and you will be feeling quiet. Even with all that going on around you, you won't even recognize the chaos. I know. I experienced it before. And I say again, my hat's off to those who love the quiet and yet in still thrives in the chaos of this world. Exciting. I'm excited. But I'm at the end of my talk. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as I have. Realizing no matter what is going on around you and how all this is so blown up every day. You find your quiet within. And it will roll over your head and off of your backs like water off of a duck's back. Because you have found your quiet within. Thanks so much to all the queens and kings who are watching, newcomers, welcome, welcome, welcome aboard. Like, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, hit the notification bell so you'll know <coughs> when I do a video. And share this video with your quiet family members and friends. Let us all get into this quiet scenario and watch how beautiful and fulfilling it will add to our lives. Walk in your power, queens and kings, right where you are right now, in quietness. Thanks so much to watching and peace, love, and blessings out to each and every one of you.